now let us see the next universal gate that is north and these are the things which we are going to cover in regarding or to this uh, nor gate the basic function of the nor gate how a nor gate can be used can be used to replace an and gate an or gate or an inverted gate how a logic circuit implemented with a or a logic gates could be reimplemented using only nor gates okay using a single gate type in this case nor will reduce the number of ics required to implement a logic circuit so here we are going to see the things like uh, the basic implementation of the nor gate as well as uh, we are going to see how to replace uh, the basic gates like and or and inverter with the help of nor gate and then we are going to see how to implement any kind of circuit only with the nor gates okay so the same thing as the number of ics increases therefore the cost of the circuit increases and as the number of ics decreases therefore the cost of the circuit will be decreased now this is what the symbol for representing the nor gate where it is receiving x and y as inputs now the output is z equals x plus y whole bar okay if we apply de morgan's on this particular expression then we'll get x bar and uh, y bar okay and uh, this is the proof table of the nor gate now this is how we are going to uh, implement an inverter gate with the help of a nor gate okay this nor gate is totally having two input but they are tied together and given as one input that is x therefore the output is z equals x bar okay and this output expression as well as this proof table resembles exactly the nor uh, nor gate okay so this is what the symbol used for representing the nor gate with the help of a nor gate now this is what the implementation of the or gate with the help of nor gate okay so nor is nothing uh, nor is nothing but not plus or therefore initially we'll use one nor symbol uh, here which is receiving x and y input now the output would be x plus y whole bar okay now this is given as an input to one more nor gate okay uh, which is acting as a nor gate therefore the output would become x plus y whole bar whole bar which is nothing but x plus y now this two table as well as this expression resembles the or gate therefore this is what the symbol used for representing the or gate with the help of nor gate now let us represent an and gate with the help of nor gate okay so i have took two nor gates okay and the output of these two nor gates now these are the symbols of the inverters therefore the output will be x bar and y bar these are given as an input to one more nor gate now the output is x bar plus y bar whole bar which is nothing but now if you implement a de morgan's theorem here then you will get x bar now this two table as well as this expression resembles the and gate okay therefore this is what the symbol used for used for implementing or designing the nor gate okay and here you can see the equivalence of and or an inverter with the help of nor gates now this is what the alternate symbol which is used for representing the nor gate and with inverted inputs okay you will get z equals x bar y bar now process for nor implementation how to design or realize any kind of uh, boolean expression only with the help of nor implementation again we have to follow the similar procedure which we have seen for uh, nand gate okay that is we have to implement the aoi logic first and then we have to replace and or and inverter inside that aoi logic with nor equivalent redraw the circuit identify and eliminate the double inversion and then redraw the final circuit so this is what the circuit again okay uh, we we are taking it as an example now here the nor gate is now replaced with the equivalent nor gate okay and here these and gates are replaced with the equivalent nor implementation as well as this or gate is replaced with the equivalent nor implementation now this is what the circuit now we have to eliminate the double inversions so here only we have two double or two inverters therefore eliminate this then you'll get the expression which we are which is similar to the expression which we got for aoi implementation you can see here that it was bc bar plus ac now again take a look at take a look at the aoi versus nor gate okay here we require a total of three ic's but here we require a total of two ic's okay so these are what the advantages that are associated with uh, the universal gates 
if you are going with universal gates we can reduce the number of gates uh, the number of ic's as the number of ic's are reduced therefore the uh, die size of the circuit or the electronic circuit will be reduced the cost of the circuit will also be reduced now let us see how to implement multi level circuits with the help of nand gates okay so multi level circuit conversion rules we have to follow these rules for implementing uh, the multi level circuits only by using the nand gates convert all and gates to nand gates with and invert symbols the first step is we have to convert all the and gates to nand gates uh, with and invert symbols and convert all or gates to nand with invert or symbols check all bubbles in the diagram for every bubble that is not compensated by another bubble insert invert it is similar like eliminating the double inversions or else we have to uh, we have to include one more inverter when we have only a only one in one uh, bubble okay so this is what the circuit this is what an example okay now what we have to do first convert all and gates to nand gates with and invert so i have replaced all these and gates with and invert symbols and or gates with invert or symbols okay now the next thing is we have to check out the uh, bubbles okay now in this this bubble is compensated with this bubble and here complement is compensated with bubble and then this bubble is compensated with this as well as this bubble is compensated with this therefore this is the circuit which is used or which which is going to resemble this particular so now take one more example here this is what the circuit or uh, equivalent circuit of this expression now we have to implement this circuit with the help of nand gates okay so initially uh, replace all the and gates with and invert symbols so and invert symbols are replaced and or gates with invert or symbols invert or symbols are replaced now we have to compensate the bubbles so this bubble is compensated for this this is compensated for this and uh, here you have a bubble which gets a complement and here you have a bubble which gets a non complement why because here the original input is a complemented input now this bubble is compensated with a not gate okay and this not gate we have to implement again with the help of a nand gate okay now converting nor implementations okay so we have to follow the same rules as we have followed for the nand implementation but the only thing is okay this nor gates are replaced with inverted and and then nand gates are are replaced with and invert okay so 